Hello and welcome to a new series on a new game called Human Resource Machine. Well, the game itself is not that new. Uh, it's by the Tomorrow Corporation and I bought it on Steam during the sale for I think it was like 750 or something like that. Or 790, something like that. Uh, and it's a like a, it's a puzzle game. It's very like codey. It's a lot like coding in assembly I guess is what I've read so I guess let's start here create a new profile here um, which one is which one looks like me <laughs> I guess the one with the blue hair looks just like me yes it does here's your badge please proceed to the elevator all right welcome my employees all right so it looks like there are quite a lot of, lever <laughs> a lot of levers uh, yeah, let's get started in the mail room. Year one. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. <laughs> your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. All right. Um, drag commands into this area to build a program. All right. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. All right. So I guess we'll start with. Grabbing something from the inbox and then going to the outbox. When you run your program whenever you're ready. I think that should be good. Oh, alright. <laughs> I didn't loop it. That makes sense. <laughs> I need to do this. And I don't have a loop. I don't only have these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a, Yeah, it's the same. I have to think of everything, of course. <laughs> but I have to get everything put it over there step by step yeah 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 that makes sense okay I can I can get behind this I think yes well done first level done your presence is requested on the next floor all right moving up the ladder I guess or the elevator in this in this case busy mail room year two well looks like you've made it this far congratulations on your promotion most people stress out and quit before making it this far but I can tell you have a bright future in in inbox outbox management here is your new assignment uh, grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox you can go you got a new command you can drag jump jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program with this new ability you can complete this assignment only using only three total commands all right yeah that's that makes sense uh, go to the outbox and then I jump back to the start like this I assume Oh, and we have a word here, spell out boot sequence probably. It's like to walk fast, I guess. Hurry up a bit. Yes, boot sequence. Very nice. Next floor, alright. Back to the elevator and the copy floor. Year 3. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. I think that should mean we get to take a break from work, though. Uh, ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. B, U and G. The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a way you could pick them up. Alright, uh, so I don't need to go to the inbox. I need to copy. Let's see what this does. Oh, alright. And then we go to the outbox. Uh, I can't really loop this. Can I? I don't know if the if the order is important, but you do have it in this order now. V U G. Um, and I don't think like, I don't think there's a better way to do this. So let's just see if that works. And we have a bug now. <laughs> Alright, that works. Phew. Uh, next floor. Scrambler handler. Alright. The conveyor system is fixed. That's good. 
I'm just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collect collate itself. Grab, grab, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. You got a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. It will be clean later. All right, so we go to the inbox, but we don't need the first item in the outbox. We need it out of the way. So we copy it to zero, I guess. But then we go back to the inbox and grab the second item. Uh, which we can proceed to get to the outbox. Then we copy from zero again. Because that's where we put the first thing and go to the outbox. Right? Go to the inbox, we get the zero, uh, the two. We put it in the zero field. We go to the inbox, get the nine, go to the outbox, go to the zero field here, copy from there, go to the outbox. That should work, I think. And we do that every time. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Yeah, we repeat that. Let's see if that works. It does. Excellent. Next floor. Coffee time. Year five. Looks like we take together. <laughs> I uh, get to take a little break here. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some news. Regions of the city continue to experience power failures. Local authorities are investigating. All right, power failures. Interesting. It looks like we have some some power issues here in the building as well. Rainy summer, alright. Year 6, and then I guess maybe we have to make a decision. Uh, welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers in each hand. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a big disadvantage. But here you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. Alright, so we start with the inbox. Uh, and then we copy that to zero, yeah sure, why not. Um, then we go back to the inbox. And we add from the zero tile. Uh, as the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. So yeah, we, we grabbed, like we put the 3 down, we grabbed the 4, we add the 4 to the 3. Then we go to the outbox. With that. I think. And then we loop that. Is that right? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Next floor, alright. And uh, now do we. Okay, no, it's 7 8, alright. But I can do them both. This, like, I can choose which one I want first. We'll use the zero exterminator next. I don't know. Or you will do it next. Where do you see yourself in five years? Probably in a room much like this one. Or ten years, same thing. I have a note here from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. All right, what a treat! <laughs> Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. You you got a new command that jumps only if the value you're holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next tile. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. It, what? What is? What is chump? <laughs> I don't know what chump does. Did I miss that? No, I didn't. Maybe that wasn't the other thing. Uh, no, we don't. We'll, we'll figure it out. Send all things that are not zero 
to the outbox. Yeah, I don't know what that jump does. Oh, 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 oh I, ah, yeah, I, I did have jump. Wow, I'm stupid. <laughs> I look so wrong there. I don't know. Jump if zero, all right? So it only it's an if. Like I, I do it again if I have a zero, all right? Oh wow. <laughs> So we go to the we go to the inbox, we grab the five. It's not zero, so we go to the outbox. We grab the zero. We back go back here to drop the zero. That should work, right? Oh I didn't loop the whole thing. I need to loop this entire thing. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> oh man. That jump if zero really threw me off for some reason. Use four of your commands. Four commands, nice. Complete in 23 of your steps. 23 steps on average, alright. Nice. These challenges can be very difficult and in many cases not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one, so one solution. Well, we got both. But that wasn't that hard yet, I think. <laughs> Let's go to 8 next. I don't want to miss anything. Tripler room. Who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. <laughs> 7 years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Alright. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the result. Self-improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high-level decisions to management. <laughs> Alright, for each thing in the inbox, triple it. And outbox the result. Okay, we go to the inbox. We grab the two. We copy it to the zero tile. Then I'm still holding the, the two, right? I don't drop it right away. So I can add the zero tile, and then I can just add it again, right? What does it get? I don't know. I don't remember. Does it go away? No, it doesn't, right? I don't remember if I drop it. I'll have to check. No, no, I don't. That works. Does work, yeah. Very nice. Six of your commands, yes, and twenty-four of your steps. Wow, perfect. <laughs> Couldn't like I, I don't think I could have done it any quicker or in any fewer steps or like less commands or fewer steps. Zero preservation initiative. What do I do? Uh, no, let's keep jumping around. Zero preservation initiative. Ah, it has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, sent only the zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to you. <laughs> Send only the zeros to the outbox. Alright. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I go to the inbox, I guess. I grab the 7. I don't want the 7, so I don't know what do I do. Can I jump down? I can. Okay, I go to the inbox. I grab a 7. I don't jump here because it's not 0. I jump here. I go to the inbox. I grab a 0. I jump to there because it's a 0. I go to the outbox. Now I just need to... 
loop this entire thing. Does it work? <laughs> Looks like it does. Perfect. Five commands. Let's see if that's enough for the... Yes, five or fewer. Ah, 25 or fewer steps. The solution completes in 28 steps on average. I don't know how I could do that in less steps though. Or in fewer steps. Hmm. Am I doing anything unnecessary? Is there, an un 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 uh, is there an unnecessary step in there? Go to the inbox. I go to the inbox. I have to have the F0 in there. Then I go to the outbox. I don't think there's a... I can't see, like, I don't see a way to do it in, in fewer steps. Because I can't, like, I can't move this stuff around, really. I can't have the outbox above. That would be the only way to have the, the one less jump, because then I would only, have only, would only need one jump. Like, if I could have the outbox up here, I could add this like this and then get rid of one of the chumps. How do I get rid of it like this? But then I would go I would start going to the outbox and I don't think that works. Or maybe it does. But I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah. Can't outbox you have empty hands. I haven't tried that yet, but yeah. I want to do it in less steps now, in fewer steps. <laughs> ah, I go to the inbox. I have to start with the inbox. Because this is only a jump. Like, I can only, like, I can skip this line, but I can't. Like, do it. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't have it above this. Because that would make no sense. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't see a way. It's the only way I see. I have to think about this. Can I come back to this? I can, yeah, I can, alright. Hmm. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, Octopry suit. So times eight. Uh, yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignment's optimization challenges. To two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self improvement? <laughs> I don't know. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 8 and put the result in the outbox. Using a bunch of add commands is easy but wasteful. Can you do it by using only 3 add commands? Management is watching. I think I can. I go to the inbox. I grab the 1. I copy to 0. I add 0. Then I copy to zero. Then I copy from zero. <laughs> then I add from zero.
Then I copy to zero again. From zero. And add from zero. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the one, I'm putting it down. I add the two together, so I have two in my hand. I put the two down. I actually don't need to copy from, right? I already have the two in my hand. Do I? I do. Right? That's how it works. Pretty sure. <laughs> I don't remember, like... You know, if I add, I have... I have the, I have the one in my hand. I copy it and then I add it and I have the two in my hand. I copy it and then I add it. I have four in my hand. I copy it, I add it and I have eight in my hand, which is eight times one. And then I get jump. I think. Yeah, I have it in my hand already. Yeah, I don't need to copy from. Oh, I forgot to go to the output. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I, I didn't. I thought... <laughs> whatever. Free ad commands. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's the 36, 36 steps and the 9 commands. Nice. Um, I just want to look at this one more time. <laughs> I don't see how. <laughs> I have to have something in my hand. I have to start with the inbox. And I have to jump down if zero, because jumping up won't work. Because I have to have the outbox after the jump. Then I have to have to loop around everything. I don't see a way to do it. Because there are, I don't, I'm not wasting any steps here. At least it doesn't feel like I am. I have to think about this one. Is this one... This one I don't see. I can use more commands, because I don't have to have both challenges at the same time, but I don't see a way to do it in less... Or in fewer steps. I keep saying less. In fewer steps... Even with more commands, I don't see how I would do that. No, I don't see it. 28 steps, how do we get to 28 steps? How many... So that's 3 steps or is that 1 step? I like a step count. I don't think I'll figure this out now. And I can't like point to the same thing right now, I can't.
That's even worse, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's worse. Because <laughs> then I jump twice for each one that isn't... Um, that isn't a zero. I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to wait for this one. I can't figure it out right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Human Resource Machine, and I uh, will see you soon with another one. Bye-bye.